Okay then, I will be working another tutorial question and this one is on nozzles and it's from thermodynamics 1 and the question reads steam enters a nozzle at 400 degrees celsius and 800 kilopascals with a velocity of 10 meters per second and leaves at 300 degrees celsius and 200 kilopascals while losing heat at a rate of 25 kilowatts for an inlet area of 800 centimeters square, determine the velocity of the steam at the exit and the mass flow rate of the steam. Well, before I start, I made a mistake. Should have said 800 squared centimeter. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person who makes that mistake. Well, anyways, time to, the first thing to do when working on thermodynamic question is to always write the first law of thermodynamics which simply states Q uh, minus W dot and this is a flow equation because it's mentioning flow rate and equal to M dot times H2 minus H1 plus v2 squared minus v1 squared over 2 plus g times z2 minus z1 and that is your first law of thermodynamics flow rate formula now first of all you look at what you're given and what you're not given and you should cross it out First of all, there is no work involved, so that's out of the equation. And also, if you realize in the last video, I can start kinetic energy. But if you realize here, the question simply states the velocity of 10 meters per second. So, and it's a nozzle, so the speed has to be accounted for. But there is no height change, so this term will be neglected okay and now if we write and being it that and if you notice here in the question it says that heat is being lost so this q will become negative minus q dot is equal to m dot h2 minus h1 plus v2 minus v1 yeah, forget the squares yep. and that is it now I'm pretty sure that equation this equation looks less hectic than the top one so the first thing we do here is we say from super heated water tables we can determine H1 and H2 so the first thing is at P1 and T1 where P1 is equal to 800 kilopascals and T1 400 degrees Celsius as stated right here we have that H1 is equal to 3267.7 kilojoules per kilogram and the specific volume is equal to 0 0.38429 meters cube per kilogram mm. now we need specific volume because we cannot just write off we cannot get five we need this volume to calculate h2 now we say at p2 and t2 where p2 is 200 kilopascal as given and T2 is 300 degrees Celsius 
we have H2 is equal to 3072.1 kilojoules per kilogram and specific volume 2 is equal to 1.31623 meters cube per kilogram now this is where the fun stuff starts since this is a steady flow process you can say then from your notes that m dot in is equal to m dot out which is equal to m dot therefore m dot one is equal to m dot two which is equal to m dot therefore m dot is equal to one over specific volume which is this is your density term times v1 a1 which is equal to 1 over 0 0.38429 times 10 because your, you see your velocity up here is 10 meters per second and your area is 0 0.08 square meters convert, converted from square centimeters and you get an answer of m dot equal 2.082 kilograms per second and that is your flow rate okay and for the final part of the question, I'm going to come over here. And for the final part of the question, you're supposed to find the velocity at which the steam exits the nozzle. And all you simply do is substitute it back into our formula, which we found to be minus Q equal m dot times h2 minus h1 plus v2 squared minus v1 squared over 2 and that was a formula that we had before and we substitute all the values that we had now 1 kilowatt is equal to 1 kilojoules per second so writing out the formula like this we have minus 25,000 joules per second is equal to 2.082 kilograms per second times our values for H2 and H1 which are 307, 2100 joules per kilogram minus well I'm running out of space here three two six seven seven zero zero joules per kilogram and I'm just gonna come down here plus v2 squared minus ten squared over oh meters per second squared over two and by calculating this and by transposing we found that v2 is equal to 606 meters so we found that v2 the velocity of the exit of the nozzle is equal to 606 meters per second and that is the question thank you